Hey, what's going on guys? This is Travis Lima here with another Paid Memberships Pro Sessions video. And today I'm going to show you how you can add a select payment plan box to your membership checkout. Pretty much in this kind of example where you want someone to sign up but they can choose whether they want to pay you a monthly installment pay $25 every three months or say $100 per year. Um, there has been quite a few people asking about this and how to use this code just. So I thought I would put together a quick demonstration for you and then we can kind of walk through things together. Now if you go or if we go ahead to my local development environment, you will see I just have a standard blog post over here that's currently locked. I'm using the member light theme. And if we go ahead to my membership levels, you will see I've got three levels already set up. Um, and I've set the billing similar to that which Jason had in his blog post. So I've got $100 per year, a $35 every three months or a $15 per month. And if you actually go and work out what each level will cost you, um, if you pay the sort of the bigger fee up front, it will be cheaper. If you take like a larger fee over uh, sort of a less frequent time, it's going to cost you a little bit more. So I think this will be $140 in total. And then if you go ahead and take the $15 per month, it's almost in a way less to uh, or less money to outlay initially, but it's going to end up costing you $180 per year as opposed to $100 um, if you just pay it up all in a one-time payment. If you go ahead and uh, just kind of check out the levels, you'll see I've just got the payment or the billing details filled in. And then I've just kind of set my content settings to member only and each and every single one of these levels have got the same restrictions to, which is that member only category so whether you sign up for the gold level one level two or level three you're going to get the same access to the same content and so if you also go ahead and want to say you want to restrict for example, we've got this add on update page and you want to go and restrict content for this page. You're going to have to go ahead and select all three levels in order to give it the same access, um, regardless of which level the user decides to purchase. So that's just one thing that you have to remember when using this code, just essentially you're going to be setting up three separate levels that have access to the same content. And we're going to use this code just to tie everything together and actually form a bit of a select a payment plan box. Before we get started, you want to go ahead and search our website for a blog post that we have called create a plugin for customizations to your membership site. And here you can actually read a little bit more up on why it's important to have a separate plugin to store all of your customizations, specifically PM Pro customizations. Um, we also have a video that you can view and all the details on how to make one, how to use it, it's all here. So I encourage you to check that out. We've also made it a little bit easier for people by actually creating a blank customization plugin. So if you are following along with me, you can actually just go ahead and download the plugin by clicking on this big orange button. And as you can see here in the left hand side, bottom corner, it's already been downloaded and I'm going to leave it there. And I am actually going to go ahead, go to my dashboard and I'm actually going to upload that plugin. Um, so right off the bat, all I have at the moment is my paid memberships pro and a member light elements plugins installed. Now I'm going to add a new one and I'm going to upload plugin and I'm just going to upload this PM Pro customization plugin and install it to my site. Now, one of the reasons you actually want to store this customization um, in uh, the, that we're about to work with into a separate plugin is because when we, if you go ahead and actually add this to your functions.php file, which is fine, um, but when we go ahead and update the plugin from our end, it's actually going to overwrite all of your customization and sort of like reset the site to its original state. 
um, minus the customizations. But with this plugin, we can store a bunch of our code in there. Uh, we can customize to our heart's content and, in a w and we won't actually have to worry about it ever being overwritten. So now that I have my level set up and I have my customization plugin set up, I'm going to go ahead and go to my editor, my plugin editor, and I am actually going to select my PM Pro customizations plugin. And from here, we can actually add code into our editor. Now, this is not the preferred way to do things. WordPress has recently made it a lot easier um, for us to edit this way because basically what would happen is if we went and we edited a plugin directly in in this sort of dashboard and we broke something or we you know uh, we didn't uh, so yeah we broke something then we would actually just get a fatal error and we'd be kind of locked out of our site and we'd have to go ahead and access the site via FTP login or what have you um, since I'm working on my local environment and since this new warning messages that kind of pops up whenever something is wrong, I'm going to go ahead and do this. But I would recommend that you do the FTP method if you feel a lot more comfortable doing it. But just kind of be wary and be careful when doing this method. It, it is a lot better, but some people still prefer you not to do it. So, okay, just kind of take note with that. So, okay. Let's go ahead and we're going to copy this code and we're not going to take our PHP tag, but we can sort of go here from this comment and we're just going to go ahead and copy all of this code. I'm not going to go into too much detail of the code itself, um, but I'm just going to show you how we can use it. And if I go here to my edit plugins and I go ahead and paste it in and I'm going to go and say update file. And as you can see, it says here, your file edited successfully. So if there was a problem, um, maybe I can, for example, just cut that PHP tag and I try to update the file. You'll see here it says here, your PHP code changes were rolled back due to an error on line 69. And that's because of this, P, um, this end PHP or this closing PHP tag that I removed. So that's what's going to happen if you make a mistake. You're going to see a red error message and it's going to roll back to a safer state. So if I go ahead and update the file now, it says it's been successfully updated or edited and we're still going to have our site back. So if I can just go and view the site, great. There's no errors or anything like that. So I just want to show you what that kind of looks like. So this is my customizations plugin and I've got my code uh, pasted in and I'm basically ready to go. So if I go to my membership level page, you're going to see your three levels over there and you can go ahead and select which one you want. And as you can see, I've selected the $35 every three months. Um, I am also logged in. So you won't see this as a member if you are not logged in and here you can see I've got my selector payment plan box and I have a hundred dollars per year and a thirty five dollar every three months. So at this point if you can remember we actually had another fifteen dollar which was a monthly fee and this isn't showing up. Now if you go back to the selector payment plan blog post you'll actually see here that the code example below shows you how to define level groups meaning these levels are related and should appear as a payment plans on the membership checkout page. You can have more than one level group. In other words, level one, two, and three in one group and levels four, five, and six in another. And then this is the variable here and it just shows you this multi-dimensional array and that's how you can have it. But if you actually go ahead and we, I just want to highlight this line from nine to 11, it says here, define the group of levels in this, con uh, in this comment of here, array one and two means that level one and two are in the group. And as you can see over here, I've got here, my variable is PM Pro level groups array one and two. So this is actually your membership level ID that is going to be included in this payment plan box. Okay, so if I really quick here, I'm just gonna open this in a new tab. As you can see here, uh, 
I have got my membership level ID one, which is $100 per year. I've got my membership level two, uh, which is $35 per year. And then in the code itself, I've only actually included these two levels. And that's why this third option is actually not showing up. So to fix this now, we're going to have to go ahead and go back to our plugins editor. And we're going to have to select our customization plugin, just select that over there. We're going to have to go over here to our code where it says yeah, PM pro level groups array, array one, comma two, we're going to want to put a comma three to include this third membership level ID. And you're going to actually have to go and check what your membership level ID is, and then actually edit these numbers over here. So you can make sure that you have the right grouped levels, if that makes sense. So if I go ahead and I update, you'll notice, let me just close this message. You'll notice that the file has been edited successfully. If we go back to, sorry, if we go back to our site, and we're going to go to our membership levels. Let's say I want to do $15 per month. And if I scroll down, I now have my selector payment plan and I can go ahead and choose $100 per year, $35 every three months or $15 per month. So I originally selected the $15 per month, but let, let's say I get to this point and I actually see the difference and I go, you know what? I'm going to spend $100 per year. It makes more financial sense to me. Um, I can go ahead and fill out my details over here. I'm not going to do it because it's not required. Um, and then I'm just going to enter a pretend card number. Now this is only going to work because my payment gateway is on test or sandbox mode. And now let's just make sure which one I've selected. I've selected the $100 per year, even though my original selection was $15 per month. So let me go ahead and submit and check out. And right here, you can see, thank you for your membership, gold level one. So it's already changed it to the gold level one, and I have been billed $100. If I view my membership here, you can see it again. I'm on the gold level one, it's $100 per year. And then you can also see my past, my past invoices, September 14th, $100. So that's it guys. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you are a PM Pro premium member and feel that you need a little bit of help with this, please reach out to us on our member support forums. We'll be more than happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.